Hey, what's up guys? It's another video here. So today I want to talk about how you do not have to be the smartest. Okay, so personal finance is largely behavior driven versus how much income you have or how smart you are, etc. Okay, so the problem with most folks is if they have a higher income, what's going to happen is lifestyle creep. Okay, so once this higher income comes, then they may get a larger home, a nicer car, uh, more lavish vacations, okay? So you as an individual, okay? So if you don't think you're the smartest, it's fine, okay? So because personal finance is largely behavior driven, what's gonna happen is your behavior will dictate how well you do financially, okay? So let's say you get whatever career, whatever job. If you are very dedicated and disciplined and committed to your budget and investing, then you will turn out okay. So you don't have to be a genius to become successful financially. It's a very simple equation actually. Okay, so you have your income, which hopefully grows over time, no matter what kind of craft or job or career that you're in. So let's say that gradually increases over time and you don't have any financial anchors like, for example, a extravagant home or you know so many children or or whatnot, so any type of anchors that will pull you down. So you as a single person, you, number one, you don't think that you're that smart, but you at least have some kind of job that generates you income, and hopefully as you become more uh, versed in your craft and more skilled at your craft or your job slash career, it'll increase over time and you are committed to your budget. It doesn't take a genius to become financially successful, okay? so. You have your income, your expenditures, and whatever is left afterwards, your uh, discretionary disposable income, you just want to set that aside into an index fund. So it's a really simple equation. So you don't need to be extremely intelligent to invest and to save, okay? If you are more savvy investing, then you can participate and invest in individual stock and whatever else that has more of a risk or a greater risk exposure but again if you don't want to uh, play with your finances or if you don't want to take on that additional risk you should really take more of a simplistic approach with your finances okay so income so you have a set income you have set expenditures and the leftover money is going to be placed into an index fund that mirrors such as the S&P 500 okay so Again, that has a very reliable track record of increasing over time. So that's going to be in market gains and dividends. So as long as you keep with your path, then you don't have to be a genius to retire early. Okay, so it's a very, very simple equation. So that's why I state that finances, personal finance is very uh, behavior driven. So it's not a matter of how much intelligence you have. And it's not really too dependent upon having a massive income. Okay, so having a massive income is nice and it'll accelerate your path toward early retirement but it's not a necessity for you to be very technically skilled and you know for example rocket science or being a doctor or a lawyer or whatever something that requires a lot of additional schooling and a, and a lot of additional debt uh, so it's not absolutely necessary to be in one of those fields okay and uh, being in those fields again it's great but it's very selective and you're going to accrue a lot of student loan debt if you go into those fields, okay? So if you pick a career that doesn't have a lot of uh, capital requirements as far as student loan goes or education goes, then you'll be in a good spot, okay? And it's not even a matter of having a high in one high income career. You can have a part-time job, you can have a full-time job that gives your benefits and your salary, and you can go along that path. So you don't have to be a genius to do a part-time job to spend extra hours in your week to try to earn more income and you don't have to be a genius to get any type of uh, salary position again it may not be the highest paying position if you're not doing really intellectually difficult work but again it doesn't really matter because you're going to be controlling your expenditures on the expenses end you're going to have your income and you can increase your income by doing part-time work or doing uh, positions where you're having additional time exchange for money 
And again, ultimately, you don't want to be doing this time exchange for money where you have automated income, but if you're not at that point yet, again, it does not take a genius to uh, use self-discipline uh, and be committed to a plan and to your budget to become successful financially. Okay, so don't feel down in the dumps if you don't have the best education, if you don't feel that you're the most intelligent, you'll ultimately win at the end because you're not going to be succumbing to lifestyle creep, you're not going to be succumbing to all the fancy trappings of life, fancy house, vacation, car, etc. And you will ultimately win at the end because the truth is not many people are controlling their expenses, okay? So again, they may have a high income, but they have equally high expenses. So if you're really controlling yourself and you're working hard, you're doing the continued time exchange for money, and you're investing every penny that you have, then you will ultimately win at the end. And again, it does not take a genius to win at the end if you are controlling behavior. So behavior has nothing to do with the amount of intelligence you have, the IQ points that you have, the type of education you have, uh, and so forth. So again, don't be so limited in the scope where, oh, hey, I'm not intelligent enough to earn X amount of income. It's not true. So you have hopefully some type of career that progresses in income you can have and again an additional exchange of time for money and if you are really diligent in your investing and saving and again not putting your funds in cash but into something that can grow over time such as index funds real estate etc then you will have no problem uh, beating the smarter people the quote-unquote smarter people so again do not feel discouraged if you don't feel that you're intellectually uh, up to you know other people's standards just stay the course and you will be okay and you'll be able to fund an early retirement where you have lots of leisure time and you can go after and you can pursue the things that you truly enjoy in life so that's it guys and stay tuned for the next video